Now, sometimes we need to model a custom window, and Curtain Wall is the easiest way to do that. My name is Jesse Dom. I'm a practicing BIM manager teaching you Revit for free. Subscribe, and let's dive in. What we're going to do is go to the ground floor. Open up this elevation by double clicking on the elevation head. Now we're going to hide this bit of fascia. All we have to do is click on that and go hide element. Now I'm going to draw some lines. So I'm going to go DL. These are just detail lines. They'll only show up in this view. And I want to create an offset of 400. So I can start drawing in this corner right underneath our soffit. And in this case, I want to zoom in quite far because I want to draw exactly on the right location. I'm going to hit the space bar because it was drawing it up on the top left. So I'm going to hit the space bar. Now it's drawing it on the bottom. I'll go to that point and come down here. Draw to that and draw a new one. If I only hit escape once, and make sure I'm right on that end point, hit the space bar to flip that. Now I can trim these. I'm gonna draw a detail line down here, change this offset to 200, draw it down there, and straight back up. Now I can select that and delete. Now I've got the outline of where these windows are gonna go. Going back to the ground floor, I'm gonna start drawing some curtain wall. It doesn't really matter where I actually draw it, but I'm gonna click on wall, come down here to curtain wall, and we're gonna use the curtain wall storefront. If we go edit type, we can look at the border types of the mullions, and we can set a couple of these. Now, I'm not sure if I pre-set this up, but rectangular mullion, 50 by 150. If I come over here and I wanted to change that, and I wanted to have a custom one, just like when we updated the column or the fascia, all you have to do is right click here, go duplicate, change the name of that, I'm going to undo because I don't need to. Uh, I'm going to go type properties, and if I wanted to change those, I could update these numbers. So I can change this to 150, or I can change these widths on either sides. And generally, that's thinking about the line in the middle and how far it's going to go on either side. Uh, it's going to add both of those numbers to the end. So I'll show you with 150 by, by 50 here. This, this is an OK size. So inside the wall here, let's edit type. Come to border and we'll pick the same one. And we're gonna leave the interior ones for, for now because I wanna show you what's gonna happen when I, when I make it. Yeah, that's all good. So right now our unconnected height is 8,000. It's gonna be really tall, but it doesn't matter too much. Let's just make this 3,000. I'm gonna hover over the wall center line and then hit the space bar so that the glass is being drawn on the outside. And then I'm gonna get this little warning that says highlighted walls overlap. It's not a bad warning, it's a good thing to pay attention to, but as soon as you click somewhere else, it's just gonna disappear. Now if I wanna cut this wall out from the other one and get rid of that warning, I can come to modify, click on cut, select the wall that I'm going to be cutting from, and then select the element that is gonna cut the wall. If I come back to my south elevation, I have my, I have my curtain wall here. And I can drag these endpoints, these sides, to the lines that we had set up before. Now that that is set out evenly on either side, let's edit the profile. Now with editing the profile, I can change the shape of the window, or in this case, technically a wall. And so all I have to do is type in AL, click on the line that we drafted just as to use as a reference, and then click Remove Constraints. That's going to remove it from the top constraint of the wall. Now. If I accept that, I have a nice window. Now these lines in the middle, these are curtain wall grids. If I go back to the architecture tab and click on mullion, I can place mullions on top of grids. Right now it placed it on both, both sides of the grid. If I wanted to only place it on one side, let's undo, and then let's pick grid line segment, and I can place a mullion on specifically that piece of grid. Now right now the segment is breaking up this piece of glass into two different pieces. So if I go add or move segments and click on this one, it now leaves this as one entire piece of glass. Let's say I wanted to add a curtain wall grid just over onto this side. I can click here and go all segments and it'll cut it all the way across. Let's undo that and let's click on one segment. I can place that down there. And now if I come back to mullion and put the mullion on, now we've got two different pieces of glass going on. To select that mullion, I can tab my way through and get back to that curtain wall grid. Right now it's pinned, so if I unpin it, then I can move it around. Let's change this to 1500. Right now it didn't like that because these are overlapping with each other. Let's change this to 2000. 
I have my curtain wall. I can tab till I can select it, and I can use this mirror tool. If I click on the draw axis, then I can pick this top point, go straight down at a 90 degree angle, and it'll completely mirror that window right beside each other. All we have to do is use the cut tool, select the wall, select our window, and there we have it, a curtain wall. One more thing that I can show you is when you click on this mullion, if you wanted to change the draw order, you can click on this little toggle. I'm going to do that with this other one and this one because I want the bottom to be consistent. I can click on either side of those and that. Now what I can do is I can select all of these things. I can use the filter. I can check none and I can come down to lines, thin lines. Click OK. I don't need these lines anymore, so I can click delete. Let's select our temporary hide and isolate and click reset to bring back our fascia. Select save. Before we quit, we have this extra piece of grid line. Let's unpin that and delete that. And there you have it, a custom window made out of curtain wall.